Hi there. Uh, this uh, part of the um, video is just to show you now that I've recorded in um, all of the sounds that I got from uh, the turntables. Um, now what I'm going to show you is basically how I trim those down and turn them into actual loops that I can use with Ableton Live. Um, first things first, I'll let you hear the loop that I have at the moment. I'll just push the microphone over. Okay, so as you can hear, the high pass filter's done a really good job for me there. Um, I'm now going to go ahead and trim it down. First of all, I'm going to trim the start point so that I can uh, get the loop starting exactly on. Now this is where fine editing comes in um, to play. Um, I'm using SoundForge here, um, basically because it's easier for me to record into um, and actually trim the loops down for use within Ableton Live. So I'll make a start on that and show you how I've done that. Okay, so now I've got it right on the start of the actual loop itself. What I need to find now is the loop point in the actual uh, thing itself so that I can go ahead and uh, make a direct loop out of it. So I'm just going to play it for a bit here and fiddle around for a wee while. I'll push the microphone over to the speaker so you can hear um, what I'm doing um, from here. So as you can see, I've uh, edited that right in. Um, basically, fine editing means that it's just a case of finding the zero crossing. Uh, it's where the point where the loop starts, but it also hits zero. And the reason for that is because if we don't do it on the zero crossing, it'll, enter, it'll drop clicks into the track. So when it loops over into the next part, you'll hear an audible click. Um, I'm now going to cut that, and I'm going to play the loop back and see that it loops properly. And if it does, then we'll save it out, and we'll put it in the Ableton Live. So as you can hear, that's looping properly. I'm um, just going to save that now. Um, I've done that with the rest of the loops and I'll let you hear them all separately once I've got them in the Ableton Live.